What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Top Android Custom Themes, this time featuring the murdered out black on black Galaxy S8 theme that first made an appearance in my top tips and tricks for advanced users. I'll drop a link below to that if you guys wanna check it out. Also I have a link below to the Google Keep document which will show you all of the various apps that you need to install along with a step-by-step -step guide of what settings to tweak, et cetera, if you guys wanna follow along and do this. Now one thing I will mention before we get started is that this theme is a little difficult to see if you don't have your brightness turned all the way up and it's also difficult to see outside like in daylight so you can actually change the murdered out icon pack to high contrast option and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. I'll give you guys a couple of options of what you can do with that. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in order to get started with this theme is theme out your settings and your notification shade. As you guys can see right there, mine is all black. To do that, you're gonna to wanna to go to your theme section, the Samsung theme store itself, go to themes, and you're gonna to wanna to choose a black theme. Now the one I'm using is called Material Black, which I will link below. You might wanna grab a different option. There's another one called M-I-N-U Black, which is a free theme. It's also got a very nicely themed settings, dialer, et cetera, which is all black, which is gonna go perfect with this AMOLED theme. So once you choose the one that you want, you can choose one of these two or another from the theme store. Hit apply on the theme. That's gonna theme out your settings, gonna theme out your dialer, et cetera. Then you're ready to move on to the next step. So once you've done that, once you've chosen your theme, the next thing to do is to grab a wallpaper. Now, of course, you can get any AMOLED wallpaper that you want, but you guys know that the wallpapers I use are from Backdrops, and the place that this one is found in Backdrops is in one of their premium collections called AMOLED. If you download the app, which again will be linked below, it's called Dead of Night. It's a very nice AMOLED wallpaper that not only has mostly black, but a few shades of dark gray in there as well that give you some nice contrast. It makes this theme work and makes it visible. Now there's a lot of other places you can get AMOLED wallpapers. I'll link a couple of them below as well. Talked about them in my AMOLED apps video as well, which I will link in the description. The next thing, once you have gotten your wallpaper and your theme, you want to install a custom launcher so we can get the icon pack, get our widgets, get everything set up the way you want. If you want the exact look that I have, you're gonna to want to install Action Launcher 3, which is right there. You can also use Nova Launcher, of course, if you like. A Couple of the changes that I've made, as you guys can see here from the very home screen, it looks like my navigation bar at the top isn't even there. That's because I turned on the dark status bar. So the way to do that is to go into display, go to the very bottom, and turn on dark status bar icons. It's gonna make them look like they fade in. And whenever you're in an app, they come back so you can see them, they're not fading in anymore. But when you're on your home screen, it looks really nice. Now you can also turn off the status bar. I don't like to do that though, because when you swipe down, then it looks like you have a little bit of lag. Uh, if you actually just turn on dark status bar icons, it looks just as good. Uh, the next thing is to go into quick theme options and action launcher and make sure that your search box, your all apps, quick drawer background, quick page background, these should all be set to black. So you can scroll over, choose the black option. If you really wanna theme this out in the murdered out way, that's the way to go about doing it. The next thing that I changed, if we go into icons, and you can see the icon pack I'm using, we'll talk about that in a second. I also turned on smart size icons, which is another thing that makes the icons look all about the same size. Also, if you go down to app drawers, I've turned the style to pixel and change my all app background to black again. That way it's got the whole entire AMOLED theme working there. The pixel option allows you to swipe up so that you can get into your app drawer. That means you don't need an app drawer button there at the bottom anymore, which is really nice. The next thing that I've done as well is adjusted the grid slightly and enabled uh, quick pages and also enabled shutters as well. So you can do that. The grid is right in here, five by five grid for the desktop. And then if we go back to folders, quick cuts and shutters, I've enabled auto covers in that particular option. Now what that does is it allows you to swipe up on an icon and then get into the folder itself. So you see I swipe up on Instagram, I get my whole entire social folder. I swipe up on YouTube, I get my entire Google folder. And that's really nice. It makes the whole entire homepage look very clean overall. Again, I'll link all this to go in below in text so you guys can check it out if you wanna follow along. And then the last thing we need to do is get our icon pack. So once you've got Action Launcher 3 installed, now you wanna grab your icon pack and apply it. I'm using murdered out icon pack. So the icon pack is right there. That's what it looks like. If you download from the Play Store, the link below, go into Action Launcher 3, back to display, go to icon pack and choose your pack. Now the murdered out pack is definitely the one that looks the best with the dark theme because it keeps everything black on black. But if you do want a high contrast option, you can use this icon pack here, Kazat Mata 
which gives you sort of a high contrast option. These are white gray icons. I'll show you what they look like really quick. They're much more visible outside in the daylight. And I would say this theme still maintains its overall charm. It just doesn't have the same murdered out sleek look that it did before. So I'm gonna go back and just apply the murdered out theme so we can continue and keep that throughout the video. So that's pretty much everything that I change in Action Launcher 3. The next thing is Zuper Widget Pro so that you can get your temperature widget right there on the home screen. Now I covered this in my advanced tips and tricks video, so I will have that link below. But basically, this widget is a imitation of the stock Samsung weather widget, which was made by a user over on XDA developer forums. This is a Zuper Widget Pro template. So you're gonna to need to install the app Super Widget Pro and then follow the instructions that he set forth here. Basically, you're gonna copy his file over into the templates folder and then you'll go through, open up a blank widget by long pressing the home screen, going to Super Widget Pro, and then you're just going to open up the template that you've copied into the templates folder. Now, one app that I do recommend installing if you're gonna move around files like this is Solid Explorer. Solid Explorer is great. It also has an AMOLED theme. I talked about it in my AMLET apps video, it'll allow you to easily copy and paste things. The file manager Samsung has stalled by default isn't that great. So again, I will link the description below of how to do this. I'll also talk about the colors. I made a few changes to his widget, but that will be in the written description below. The main thing is to download his template from this link at XDA, which I will include, and then also copy that into the templates folder. More of that is covered in my advanced tips and tricks video. The next thing is navbar apps. So you guys probably noticed at the bottom here, whenever I go in and I actually open up my keyboard, my bottom nav bar stays black. That is not done by default from Samsung. You can change the color of the nav bar, but whenever you go into a third party keyboard or even the Samsung keyboard, it's gonna change this to being white. The way to stop that from happening is to download nav bar apps, which is a great little app that I talked about in my customization video. You can select a single color and make that persist everywhere in the interface. So I've chosen that to be black, and then I have that persist throughout the entire interface, which is really nice, because then whenever I bring up a keyboard, everything stays black. The final thing is to get yourself a actual black keyboard to match your nav bar. So I'm using Gboard, which has an option to get an AMOLED theme. So if you download Gboard, which is Google's keyboard app, you can go in and choose your theme. This is the AMOLED theme that I'm using right there. As you guys saw, when I go into Gmail, You've got a very nicely streamlined keyboard, nav bar, everything is black, very beautiful setup. All right guys, so that is a look at my custom setup for the Galaxy S8. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy the setup. I will link all the directions below in the description. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also leave a comment if you have any issues and I'll try to help you guys out. Appreciate you guys checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.